Hi everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of the Young Grown Ups Video Transmission. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. It's not actually going to be a figure review, um, but this is going to be a, um, a video <clears throat> that's going to be sort of craft and then sort of fan service. Um, I've... Um, I, I, you know, I really love this Bane figure. He is, he's one of the figures that I've been waiting all year to get. Um, you guys know that I reviewed him a couple months ago, and I'm super, super happy with this figure. But one of the problems with Bane is that he can't actually do one of his signature moves from the movie. And that is, he cannot actually grab his vest. That is about as close in as his arm will actually get to his body because he only has a single joint elbow. Um, he does not have the double jointed elbow. And, uh, you know, my wife who really could give, you know, two shits about action figures and collecting and especially the amount of money that these things cost, you know, when I was showing her this figure, she was like, he can't grab his vest. Like I wouldn't even have bought that figure. And I'm like, well, <laughs> I, I'm not going to not get it just because of that. But, um, but even my wife was like, that's dumb that it doesn't work. And of course it's dumb that it, that he can't do that. It's one of his signature moves. It's one of his signature poses. And if you make a figure that can't do that, I understand why they didn't, of course, because they wanted you to display him with his jacket off and they wanted his arms to look really good and have a nice elbow as opposed to having these two big um, double joints that you can see here. Um, but, um, you know, I thought I was just sort of resigned to having a figure that didn't really do what I wanted it to do. So I wasn't getting the most out of my figure. Um, then I watched a video by my good buddy, Rick, the Clipper King. You guys know him. Um, he's, um, he's really good to us up and coming, um, uh, <laughs> reviewers. And so, um, I saw a video he did where he actually took, I, I think pretty much this exact same body, but it was the one that came with, um, his, uh, Terminator, his DX Terminator. I think it was the DX. Um, and he actually did a video where he, uh, changed their bodies around where he actually took, um, the two bodies from Arnold and Bane and switched them so that he could actually get the, the chest grabbing pose with this body. Um, well, I wasn't going to go out of course and buy a DX Terminator and I, I don't have any of them. Um, I haven't collected any of the Hot Toys uh, Terminator figures, so... I was like, eh, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, and then I saw um, where this body is really close to the, um, the Terminator figure. This, of course, is the, um, the brand new Hot Toys TTM-20 uh, True Type Basic Advanced Muscular Body. Um, this thing was just released um, <clears throat> from SideshowToys.com. It's where I, I picked this guy up. It was $59.99. And uh, the really cool thing about it is I had about 65 bucks in uh, Sideshow points just kind of laying about that I would probably never, ever use because I can't use them on new Hot Toys figures. Um, but luckily I was able to use them on this thing. So I was like, Hey, that's a, that's a free fix right there. When else can I get a muscular hot toys body pretty much for free? Um, so I immediately snapped it up and knew that I was going to do my very own custom video, uh, in, in honor of, uh, uh, Rick's video, because I think his final product was really, really, really good. Now, the one thing Rick had to do in his video is using the Terminator body was he had to actually separate the upper torso from the legs um, because they did a really weird thing here where he does have like a very muscular upper body, but his legs are kind of thin to sort of fit in these pants. So um, Rick had to actually separate his two bodies. I don't know if I'm going to have to do that. I think I am. I'm looking at these legs right here and they look pretty beefy. So I, I think I'm going to have to do that. I think I'm going to have to actually separate the body and put this upper body on Bane's lower legs here. Hopefully I won't have to do that, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to just looking at it. It just look, they just look really, really, really large. So hopefully I won't have to, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and I'm going to pull up on my phone here to, um, YouTube. These are, these are two guys who are, have subscribed to the Ungrown Ups channel here on YouTube. And I, I wanted to shout them out because they have had, had a couple questions 
Um, so the very first one was from Mr. Doza 23, who actually asked me, is the vest grabbing pose possible? Uh, and I wrote him a pretty lengthy, um, response back saying no. And I kind of pointed him towards Rick's video and said, you really need to watch that. Um, that'll pretty, pretty much answer your question. Um, so Mr. Doza 23, uh, I hope you're going to check this video out, um, because we're actually going to do the very thing you want to see. Um, the other person I want to shout out, um, is Gravemind95. Um, who said he called me out on something that I said I was going to do in my Bane review and I didn't do. Uh, he said, you never showed if the Batman mask would actually fit on the Bruce Wayne head, being the Bruce Wayne head from the, the DX um, uh, Dark Knight Rises Batman. And so uh, Gravemind95, you know, I, I apologize. And I said, yeah, you got me. I, I said I was going to do that and I didn't. So, um, so I actually brought out the Bruce Wayne head. Um, and here is the mask that comes with Bane. And um, I would say that it's slightly out of scale. The two do not fit. You cannot um, get this to sort of shove down on there. I actually kind of just said that off the cuff, not knowing whether or not it was in the right um, scale to do so or not. But as you can see, um, there's quite a bit of hair hanging out in the back. Uh, you could kind of like press it on a little bit, but... It doesn't actually looks like look look like it would actually fit in there. Um, it, it's close, but it's close, but as with the Wolverine figure, no cigar. So um, so that goes out to you, Grave Mine. I uh, hope you uh, appreciate me throwing that in the video. Um, and uh, so let's get this true type body opened up, and let's get uh, the clothes off a of bane, and let's see how this actually works. Okay, so here on the left we have Bane, and here on the right we have the new um, TTM 20 muscular body. Uh, and as you can see, the proportions are, are pretty similar. I, I would say that the chest here is a, a bit beefier. This upper part is, a, um, a, it, it is rubbery. Um, it doesn't feel as rubbery as this, though. And as you can see, um, a much bigger abdomen section here, much fuller abdomen section on Bane. Uh, from the side, you can see it's a lot more paunch um, than than this body here. This is much more of a bodybuilder, and this is much closer to Bane. But, you know, seeing as how I would never even want to display my Bane figure um, with this shirt off, um, I'm not going to miss this or the painted nipples, of course. You can see it's not there. And, of course, the one big thing you are going to be missing is the... Um, the scar down his back, which is really nice, um, which is really cool. But as you can see, um, th the thighs are significantly larger. So even though that there is, you know, some extra padding pieces on here, as you can see, um, to give them a little more beef to them, uh, these are going to be enormous. And I just don't think I'm going to be able to get those um, Bane pants on this body. Um, I had quite a hard time getting them off this guy um, because the top of the pants, pants is stitched together so um but since this body does come with the longer um foot pegs to make him even taller i think i may put those longer foot pegs uh back on bane so that he is taller and so his pants do ride a little lower um since i kind of want them to blouse a little bit more and i'm hoping i'm not going to regret that decision because i gotta tell you those foot pegs are not the easiest thing in the world to get out so um you know, I am kind of sad that I am going to be losing the uh, the rubbery sort of uh, arm uh, in, in lieu of this more plasticky um, looking arm. Um, but I'm really, you know, I'm either going to display Bane with his jacket on or the black shirt. Um, uh, hopefully you guys, I didn't do it in the Bane review because I bought the shirt off eBay later on. Um, but I did buy a Damn Toys black long sleeve t-shirt. Uh, I believe it came with Violent Samurai. Um, if that, if I'm not mistaken, that's the figure that it came with from Damn Toys. Um, but if you go back and you look, I did do an update video and I showed some of my figures in my cabinet and I showed Bane with that black shirt on. Um, so I either do it with the black shirt or the jacket. So I don't think I'm going to miss this really very much at all. Um, and seeing as how I did just get, um, Wolverine, uh, and hopefully you guys saw that re review and enjoyed it. Um, but I'm thinking what I may do with this body here is I may do like a, um, sort of like a custom Wolverine, maybe, uh, some army pants, 
maybe an army jacket, maybe open to show off the chest or whatever, um, and then pop the Wolverine head on. I've all, I've also thought about possibly using this body for a custom Rambo. I never bought the Hot Toys Rambo way, way, way back in the day, um, but I, I kind of like Rambo, and I'd like a Rambo 2, custom Rambo 2 figure. I may do that. I don't know. So if I do do a custom in the future or a kit bash, I'll let you guys know, and I'll certainly shoot a video. So let's um, uh, go about, I guess I am going to have to switch the two bodies just like Clip did, um, and to do that, here, let me turn these around. Um, let me turn these around and zoom in and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to have to do to get those body, the two pieces of the body apart. Okay. So to separate these two pieces of the body, what you have to do is you have to separate the, um, the pelvic area and you do that by, there's a little oval right here and there's a little oval right here. And I really hope that that's coming across and it's on both figures. Here, let me uh, let me put this other one in frame. These are in a little different spot. They're a little higher. Um, let's see if I can get this guy to stand up here without acting silly. Um, sorry about this. Little foot pegs just all over the place. But you can see them. It's right there. They're a little higher um, than they were on the Bane body. But um, you you sort of take those little oval pieces out. And underneath is a, um, a screw, and we're going to unscrew both pieces of that pelvic area, and then the body should just come apart um, right there. So let me get the, let me lift these out, get the screws out, and I'll show you what an inside of these little uh, pelvic areas look like. Okay, I think I'm about reaching my um, threshold for plastic booty, um, but basically the way these things slide out is, um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a little... It's a slanted piece of plastic, and um, here, let me move this guy over a little bit. Okay, so it's just a slanted piece of plastic, and it slides in like that, and you can actually see where I had to put this teeny tiny little screwdriver in there to like pry it out. It just slides out backwards, and then um, each, each side has one of those, and then deep down in there, there was a screw, but I've actually removed both of the screws, and so I've done that on both of the figures. Thankfully, Bane's screws were black. The Hot Toys um, True Type um, basic body was... Um, what were silver that way I don't have to worry about getting the screws mixed up um, and so let me take this off the stand and um, let's see if I can show this to you so basically you've got both pieces they just sort of separate and when they separate like that and let that fall you can see where the um, go ahead and take the legs off you can sort of see inside of here where the um, this is just kind of almost like old school G.I. Joe bodies. Um, but you can see where the torso sort of fits down in this little slit right here. And uh, I know from Clip's video that I didn't, that he didn't have to alter um, either torso piece to get this to fit. I think they're all sort of universal. So I'm not, not too worried about that. But um, taking this apart, you do see that you've just got the, there's the, the swivel rocker that the torso is always on. And I don't know. If, if I unscrew that, if I get a little extra room to slide it back in there. So that's actually how I'm going to go about taking these two um, bodies apart and then fitting them back together. So um, just to recap, Bane's upper torso will go on the true type body um, legs and then the um, true type body torso will be on Bane's legs. So that's where we're going to go. So next time I um, cut back, that's what we'll see. I'll, uh, I'll take both figures apart, put them back together before coming back. So one second. Okay, so I was doing my best to try to figure out why I couldn't separate the uh, Hot Toys True Type muscular body um, lower piece, the uh, the crotch piece. I, was, I, I couldn't figure it out. I was like, why is this not separating? Uh, and then I noticed that there was ever so slightly uh, vi barely visible hole uh, right there in the old, um, yeah, and uh, I got to tell you, if anybody's ever tried to remove that thing, it is a pain in the ass, literally. Um, I had to go and get a drill to actually get that thing out and removed. Um, but now I have, and uh, I just got to get that screw out of there. So I just wanted to uh, <laughs> share that, that um, the true tie body actually has a third uh, sort of hidden, very well hidden uh, screw hole. <laughs> God, I can't believe I did this. Okay, so 
that was a lot more difficult than I thought it was, but it was also uh, a lot easier than I thought it was. Uh, it was both. I know that sounds crazy, but um, that's really not too hard to do. Um, but I, I, the hardest part was getting that <clears throat> that asshole screw out. <laughs> that thing was just a pain in the... Uh, I've already said that. So, uh, <laughs> so all right, so we've already got the um, everything swapped out. Uh, you can see we now have the true type uh, muscular double jointed elbow body uh, on top of Bane's legs, and then we have Bane's upper torso and upper body on the true type legs. And um, this is how they're going to go back. I think this is going to make an awesome Wolverine. I think this is probably a little bulky for Wolverine, but hey, I mean, who can't have a bulkier Wolverine, right? So I may do something with Wolverine uh, here. Uh, or Rambo, I'm not sure. We'll we'll see how that pans out in the future. But um, but for now, let's just go ahead and get um, um, all of Bane's stuff back on him and see how this actually works out. The only thing I will say is you will notice that the pelvic cup here um, is a little larger than than um, to accommodate Bane's larger torso. Um, so you'll see that the Hot Toys body fits in there a little loose. It's still very tight as far as like movement, but it just doesn't hug it as well as the body that it was made for. Whereas this um, T piece here, this little um, torso area, the, the the crotch area here on this figure, is actually kind of tight for Bane's ex, you know beefier body. Um, if I knew what I was doing, I guess best case scenario would be to put this mid torso area inside of this upper body and on Bane's original legs. I think that would work, but. I'm not sure that this upper part here would be wide enough to um, allow the, the, the beefier midsection. So that may just be causing too much extra work for myself. So I think this is going to work out nice. I can't wait to get everything back on here. So uh, I'm going to put in a quick cut. And when we come back on the other side, we're going to have the, the newly minted, newly articulated Bane. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got the, uh, the new arms on. I need to work on getting this sleeve up over the... Um, the gauntlet. I know having two gauntlet on, two gauntlets on is not um, movie accurate, but I kind of like having both of them on. Uh, looks pretty cool. Um, I just need to work on getting them down in the sleeves a little bit better. But uh, as you can see, he can now grab his braces. He can grab the harnesses on his vest. So it looks pretty cool. Why don't we zoom out and take a look at the whole figure? Okay, so there is Bane holding his braces, and he looks mighty, mighty tough. I am really glad that I did this mod, and I'm actually really glad to Clipper King for uh, doing it first and showing me that it can be done. So let me be a testament. It can be done. A little bit of work, uh, an extra muscular body, and you've uh, you've got the Bane that Hot Toys should have delivered. So I uh, hope you guys dug the video. As always, we're going to ask if you did to please like, comment, or subscribe. Be sure to check out um, our podcast, which is new every two weeks over at iTunes, or you can stream it right off ungrownups.com. And be sure to join in the conversation over Facebook.com slash ungrownups. And until next time, peace.